Practical SQL Server 2012 Administration and Programming Database Design Database Diagram Design in SSMS Object Explorer Let's uh, open Object Explorer If we want to close quickly all the uh, drill downs in um, Object Explorer Objects 3, we can just uh, do a refresh and that closed everything. Let's open A new database diagram. Let's select uh, all the human resources tables. So here is one. I am holding down the control key. Let's hunt for more. That looks like we end of the list and close unpin object explorer arrange. Let's zoom out to see the structure better. So the center is um, the employee table and this is the employee department history table which uh, we've been working in the past let's return to 100% zoom we see that uh, It is uh, related to business entity ID for employee table and related to department table, but we don't see the relationship to the shift table. Maybe the shift table is missing, so what we do? Add related tables. So indeed, here is the shift table. And now we see that the human employee department history table in human resources schema is uh, properly diagrammed in the SSMS diagramming tool. What we can do with a diagram is copy to clipboard and once we copy to clipboard we can copy it to Word, we can copy it to for example, paint, we can also copy it into, paste it rather, into an email. So we can paste it to paint. We can then save it from uh, paint We can save it as uh, PNG. We can save it to as uh, BMP. Now, this BMP is going to take lots of room, so it's going to be large size. We can also save it smaller size, so as a JPEG or a GIF I as well. And if we mail it, if we save it as a JPEG, it is uh, we can attach it to an email for emailing it. Let's abandon this diagram and start a new one. New database diagram, and we'll bring in. 
two tables just to keep it simple. The first table is the email table and the second table is name and address. We added password unintentionally, so we can delete it from the database from right here. But we don't want to do it. We just we just want to remove it from the diagram. And arrange. And we see that we have two tables. Email table and name and address table. So let's add a new table, right click, new table, and the new table's name is going to be Twitter name. And here is our new table. The first column is going to be Twitter name ID. The data type is going to be integer. This is a big list. Here is our integer. We should not allow nulls. This is going to be in primary key. We are not going to allow nulls. Twitter name. And this is going to be char 20. No nulls allowed. And one more. And this is going to be modified date. So this is a uh, row maintenance column. And we can make this a small date time. So this is our uh, new table. Every table should have a primary key. So we right click on our primary key and this is a surrogate primary key, integer identity and Twitter name of course uh, is a natural key and it should be unique. For uh, Twitter name ID, let's set identity. So identity specification. This should be yes. Set it to yes. And modify date should have a default value and the default value is get date let's close the properties window we are finished with the design of our very simple table twitter name Let's change the design of name and address. Let's uh, insert a column. And uh, the new column is going to be Twitter. ID. And 
let's set the properties data type is going to be integer and that is fine so we have the Twitter ID in a name and address table as a foreign key pointing to the Twitter name ID in the Twitter name table. As we see that the names are not exactly the same, now there is no requirement to make the foreign key the same name as the primary key name in the primary key table, but if we make it the same, it is helpful with some software such as automatic software which is working with table schemas to match it up. But for the time being we can just leave it like this because in practice in some databases the foreign key name is not identical to the primary key name. So let's establish a connection. We should map this to Twitter name ID and it picked up our intentions very good so this is a primary key table Twitter name and uh, this is the this is the actual column and this is the foreign key table and this is the column we want to map okay for the time being just we say okay and we have established the relationship Table view can be selected a standard, column name, skins, name only, custom or modified custom. So if we go back to custom, resize, here it is. Another table view could be column names. So now only the column names are visible. We don't have data type information rearrange let's resize name and address and rearrange so we have all three tables uh, visible Let's save our design and this is going to be an A. Okay. Because name and address is a populated table, it's not allowing us to save it. So we need an alternate course of action. Let's delete the relationship. And let's delete Twitter ID. And save it again. Okay. So let's remove a table from the diagram. And uh, save. And this is our new table which is going to be saved. Great. Let's check out what actually it is saved. Tables. Refresh. And here is our new table. That is great. But we have to add a 
new column to name and address. So let's do it in the designer. Design, a table designer. We'll have more luck here. Insert column. And it's going to be Twitter ID. And it's going to be int. and exit yes okay cancel okay so here is what we have to do we have to go to tools and options We go to designer and it says prevent savings changes require table recreation. So this is the option which is giving us the trouble. We turn this option off and we try our luck again. Add table, name and address table. And here is our uh, Twitter ID. Let's map it. And the mapping is correct. Foreign key table, name and address, Twitter ID pointing to the primary key table, Twitter name ID. Both are integers. So it looks like finally we got what we wanted. And rearrange it. And save it. Now we don't get the message that we cannot save it. Yes. And exit. If we come into the designer again, new database diagram, bring in the name and address table, bring in related tables, design. Rearrange, rearrange the design, and now we see that the changes we made in the diagram designer were saved, and actually we have created a table, Twitter name, using the diagramming tool in SSMS. Recapping the diagramming tool in Management Studio Object Explorer is an extremely powerful tool and it can be used uh, for uh, table design and database design in general. This is the end of the unit.